Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance and this is a batch of dealing on 155.58 the tier 10 French SPG and we're on the attacking spawn of Karelia. Now there's a union flag on the side of this batch app because it belongs to Zoe Balls. Yes, you know her, she's a member of What Artie Noobs and she's very helpful to us and yep, she's attacking the other side, it's an assault battle. So she's got 10 minutes to uh, win, kill all the enemy, or capture the base. Now, three shots. Normally I had an eight sec 80 second reload and six second intra uh, shot uh, clip. Okay, Zoe's aiming straight away and the turret's turning around. She's got her first target, it's a bat chat 12 ton. Oh, he's poking out. She's not loaded yet though, that's the problem. 48 second reload on this particular RT at the moment. Okay, she's almost loaded. Okay, she's loaded now. Rounds out straight away on the chop. Oh, it was a bit short. No, she didn't give enough lead on that one. But the bat chat stopped. Almost reloaded. Careful, so she's mo he's moving again. That's it, get it right. Rounds out. That should get him. And she did! <laughs> Lovely one! She got him right at the buddy. Wait until they stop moving. If they're moving, they're fast little... Those... I was going to say... <laughs> those fast little tanks. I was going to say a B word, but... Uh, when they move, uh, they can be damn difficult to anticipate where they're headed next. So it's best to wait for the stationary. And that's the stationary shot on a T-54E1. She got a nice amount of damage there. 291 hit points. And so we don't know how many hit points she actually gathered from the bat chat 12 ton because it was actually unsighted at the moment she killed it. So we'll have to wait until the end of the battle to see exactly what she did. But she's now in the reload cycle. And we've got to wait another 48 seconds. Well, in fact, now it's 22 seconds before we'll actually fire again. And whilst that's happening, Zoe is having a quick look for the enemy RT, which is a very wise decision. You never know, you might spot the tracer. Oh, there's a tracer! Just about two inches to the left. Saw it. I hope Zoe saw it. I'm pretty sure she... Oh, no, she's not firing at it. So I think she must have missed it. I definitely saw it, though. And she splashed that Rhyme Metal Ball Sig Waffentrager. Or Waffle. And there's a Fox there. Oh, that's going to be behind him. Yeah, it stunned him though. And uh, that's a bit of help, but that AMX is getting plastered. Oh, Zoe's loaded again. But if she fires now, she'll damage the AMX. So she's got to wait until he's far enough away. And she's indicating a target, telling the AMX to go away. Now she can hit him. Oh, she stunned him. And now she's in reload cycle, but they've managed to take out the Fosh. So the AMX did take note of Zoe's Tiki to uh, get out of the area because she was told or he saw the ground and saw the marks and said, there's the tracer again. She saw it this time. I saw it the first time. Just slightly two inches to the left it was and that's, that looks to me to be just about right. She might see the tracer again just before she fires. She's got uh, a few more seconds to go, 15 seconds. Scores are fairly even at the moment. 3 4, 4 4. There, it's slightly to the right. That's it, she's got it. Bang on the money. This is going to be interesting. Rounds out. And it hits the target! She got him bang on. Okay, reload's going in. Next one ready. And rounds out again. And she kills him! It was an object 261. He was moving. I think he was moving, trying to get away. But she got him. She got him before he could get away. Lovely. Okay. Rhyme Metal Ball Sig still hiding behind that rock. We can't hit the mouse because it's the wrong angle. Unfortunately, the enemy has managed to break through in the south. And they're coming in on the south route. So Zoe needs to consider moving. And moving quick. Uh, I would head north if I was her. Uh, up into the northeast corner. Uh, at least then she's got some protection. But she can't stay where she is. Because uh, if those tanks come up the uh, the... 
the rear side of the horseshoe, she's not going to get much warning before they suddenly appear behind her and shoot her. So unless she's in for some surprise butt sex, I think she needs to get out of there quick. Now that 1390 doesn't want to poke his head up. There's the mountain. Right, she can hit the mountain once she's loaded. Another few seconds to go. Come on, Zoe. There's an AMX 1390 in front of you. And there's tanks coming up behind you. So you need to think about moving. Oh, it's going to be behind the mountain. It is. It stunned him. Put another round into him. The mountain is exposed to fire. She'll pick up stun assist. Rounds out again. Direct hit this time. 91 hit points, big stun, and the 1390 is going to town on the Malshan. She's holding her fire, waiting until the AMX 90, uh, 1390 clears it, then she can shoot. And she doesn't need to because the Malshan's gone down, but we lost the AMX 1390. There's the 34B, direct hit, 315, two critical hits, that's worthwhile. Now, can the T-34-2 put some shots into that T-34? It's difficult. He is a, a quite a good player. He's a blue rated player. It's going to be difficult for that T-34 to take that T-34B on. Not when he's face on. He needs to hit him from the rear. And he can do that now. Yes, he did. Good. And that T-34B didn't like that. But he came around the corner and he got taken out by the IS-7. Now, Malbreaker. And there was another tank there for a brief second, but we lost sight of them. And as I say, we still haven't seen the uh, tanks that are on the south route. I'm sure they must be coming down the south. I can't believe that they have not progressed to try and clear out the RTs in the rear. Now, Zoe's relocating. She's getting out of there quick, and with good reason, because 1390s come up onto the horseshoe. And Zoe's getting out of there quick. There's a panther in the way. Oh, ouch. Get out of the way, panther. Unfortunately, Zoe lost 117 in that ram. And she's desperately trying to get away from 1390. Who's chasing her? Here he is. Go away. He's loaded. She's loaded. Oh, shotgun. 155.58, can shotgun with the best of them. And that Jack Panther doesn't like that, but he, he's just sort of affirmative to Zoe. I think he liked what she did with him. Because that, uh, that 1390 was definitely giving that Jack Panther a hard time. And Zoe had the presence of mind to spin round quickly so she could shoot the uh, 1390 as he came past. Now, she's going to go for this mouse. She's loaded. We've got enough two rounds. Rounds out on the mouse. It lands in the water right next door, which mediates uh, or uh, mediates some of the uh, force of that explosion. She's loaded for the next one. Rounds out. Direct hit this time. 143 hit points. The application of a little high explosive can do wonders. Right. There's only three enemy left. The mouse, the mile breaker, and the T-34. I'm surprised that the enemy didn't come around the back to try and take out the RT, but uh, that's a very poor decision by them. Right, they've got um, two tanks near the cap, the IS-7 and the T-34-2, and of course the T-10s down there. But they've got to deal with that mouse. So, Zoe, what can you do to put some explosive into that uh, mouse? Shots going in. There's 1 minute 15 seconds left on the clock. This is going to be tight. Zoe's loaded. Now she's ready. Rounds out. Direct hit. 168 hit points. The mouse is pointing his gun at the T10, but he can't get the depression to shoot the T10. So he shoots again. Another direct hit. 186 this time. And the mouse has gone down. She got him. That means there are only two enemies left, the Malbreaker and the T-34. And they're capping. And unfortunately, they haven't got enough time to cap if they have only the, t the one tank in the cap. Right, the T-34 has been spotted. He's near the cap. Oh, he just took out the IS-7. Zoe fires. 
direct hit on T34, and he's taken out immediately afterwards, so she's picked up stun assist. 21 seconds to go. Where is that last tank, the Marbreaker? Two tanks going after him. T10, T34 too. Zoe hasn't got enough time to reload, so she's just going to be a spectator now. But there's the Marbreaker. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, they did it! My god, that was the last second! They took out the Malbreaker and they won the battle at the last second. I thought that for a second that was going to be a collar ban off for the Malbreaker. But my god, they did it. Uh, amazing. Um, in fact, actually, it wouldn't have been a collar ban off because there was only four remaining in Zoe's team at the end of that battle. But let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. Oh, it's an ace tanker for Zoe Balls in the Batchetillion 15558. She also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got ten in that battle. Um, but there was no other awards. But I'm sure that Zoe would be very happy with the fact that she managed to get the win at the last second. And she said, oh my god, this was a close one. Yeah, you can say that again. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, she came third. 3,113 hit points of damage. But when it came to kills, she was top of the table with three. And when it came to base XP, she was second. The Yank Panther 2 managed to get a higher amount. Uh, Zoe managed to get 10,000 and uh, 1,044 experience points in total. Zoe fired 18 rounds. She got 10 direct hits, 10 penetration, 7 splash damage. Did damage of 3,113 hit points, of which 2,510 were at more than 300 meters. Unfortunately, she did do some damage to her allies of 62 hit points, and that was to the Yag Panther that came in the opposite direction while she was desperately trying to run away from that 1390. Um, so that's a pity. But nevertheless, it can't be helped. Um, she damaged eight of the enemy. She killed three of them. She also did damage assistance, or stun assistance rather, I should say, of 3,469 hit points off 14 stuns. So she really did work that one. On a premium count, so he managed to get 74,174 credits, uh, but she was fined 944 for hitting the Yag Panther, um, so she was left with 73,230 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, and remember the ammunition for the uh, Bachatinion are really cheap because uh, it's 155 millimeter howitzer shells, which means that she walks away with 45,249 credits, which is a really good score. Uh, she received, especially when you remember, that's a tier 10 RT. Okay, she received 1,566 experience points. And there was no multipliers, so that's all she got. But I think she got the satisfaction of, oh my god, we managed to do it. <laughs> I think I would have been sweating at the end of that one. Thinking, are they going to do it in time? Oh dear. That was really, really close. <laughs> Very close indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.